Good man morning, excuse me, welcome to my channel. It's a rainy overcast morning, so I hope you are able to see this okay. This is a gift that I made for my niece, who is having her first baby. And it's a little girl. And I've used the kit from Mrs. Cox on Mother Goose. Mother Goose um, rhymes stories, so I thought they were really cute. Um, so one signature, it is a Traveler's Notebook size, and it starts out with Rockabye Baby, and then we've got a little piece of a doily there, baby journal at the bottom, um, eyelet and ribbon closure. Let's go inside. But everybody's doing well today. They said it's really rainy, overcast today. It's supposed to be like this all weekend. It makes it very difficult to move along. But so I've went and I've gathered from Pinterest and um, Google and such things of that nature, um, baby type quotes. So this one, play is often talked about as if it were a were a relief from serious learning. But for children, play is serious learning. Mr. Rogers said that. So this is the old um, calendar page, and then I've just backed it with some vintage typewriter paper, and then sewn around. So she's got that journal space there. And I've used a lot of pink and um, pastels. Here's Mother Goose herself. While we try to teach our children all about life, our children teach us what life is all about. And then behind Mother Goose, we have a tag with a little angel stamp on there, and her name is will be. She's on. She's due any day now. June Eleanor. Isn't that a pretty name? Oops, excuse me. And some ribbon trim at the top. We've got lines on the back and vintage typewriter paper. I've made these as kind of a photo mats so that she can she can use them as a photo mat. She can use them just to journal on however she would like to use those. Another Mrs. Mother Goose, Dickory Dickory Dock. I always thought it was Hickory Dickory Dock, but you know. Um, two long narrow tags with fun dress-up things, and just for you. Go behind there like so. Pretty yellow and then pink. Purple um, comes with the kit, and then I've just made it into an envelope. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think. And two little tags, so nice and all my love. Flips open two journal cards. When my kids were little, when they were babies, um, oh, right here is another tuck spot. I would keep journals for them too. This was back before journal days, so it was just a simple journal, and I would just, it started out writing things about, you know, milestones and stuff, and they walked first word, that sort of thing. But as they got older, I would make, um, I would turn it into letters. So I would write letters to them in that, in the baby journal. And then, two little flowers, string. And then when they get married, they get that as part of a, their wedding gifts. For better or worse. <laughs> I don't know if they'll actually appreciate those yet, but you know. When they start having their own babies, they I think they will. So we've got this very vintage music paper here. And then as I don't know if you can see that, but through the journal there's been kind of a secondary theme. First theme, Mother Goose, secondary theme, teddy bears. The Queen of Hearts journal cards there. And there is also another 
just quick spot here. Shoot, I choose that or something. Oh, it's another envelope on the other side. May all your dreams come true stamp. Two little tags behind. One says family, one says sweet. journal cards behind here. And we've got a row of little ladybugs. Ring around the rosies. And a clown journal card. And two more photo mats or journaling spots. Here we go around the mulberry bush. And then another teddy bear. Every child is gifted, they just unwrap their packages at different times. And then a pretty embossed tab at the top. Another vintage music paper, and then I believe banner, and it's little flowers with bling. And then the other half of the calendar page. Children want the same things. We want to laugh, to be challenged, to be entertained and delighted. Dr. Seuss. Now, I made a few years ago a journal, a baby journal for a friend, and she requested that this quote be with it. And I've loved this quote ever since. When God wants a great work done in the world or a great wrong righted, he goes about it in a very unusual way. He doesn't stir up his earthquakes or send forth his thunderbolts. Instead, he has a helpless baby born, perhaps in a simple home and of some obscure mother. And then God puts the idea into the mother's heart and she puts it into the baby's mind. And then God waits. The greatest forces in the world are not the earthquakes and the thunderbolts. The greatest forces in the world are babies. And I would argue mothers for putting that in the baby's heart in the baby's mind, excuse me, and E.T. Sullivan said that, and so I, I like that in all my baby journals now. And that is for my niece. I hope she likes it. I hope this video wasn't too long, and have a great day. Bye-bye.